Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the N Scale Mojave Subdivision. This is Corey from KRP Models, of course. And I'm happy to bring you Leda update number nine. Uh, I've made some pretty good progress. Um, I've laid all the track in my yard. So that's all done. I have started to assemble my sanding and refueling area. Uh, I still have a couple more things to build and paint. Uh, we'll get into that in a second. And of course, as you can see in my overpass, which I'm pretty proud of. And I completed my loop. So I guess we'll start right here. As you can see, here's the little kick out I was talking about. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, the craftsmanship with the wood is not too great. Doing that with a miter box and a handsaw. Um, well, yeah, that's what you get. I miss my chop saw. But I'm in an apartment trying not to make a lot of noise, you know? So I basically uh, I used O2O styrene for the super elevation. And it works great. My intermodal and the auto racks go around it just fine. You know, it's a little tight, but it works. That's all that matters. And we'll move on to the overpass here. This came out really good. I'm not too sure on the color of the concrete yet. I might repaint it, I'm not sure. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments. But it's uh, all made out of balsa wood. And I literally made it for like not even 20 bucks. Maybe like 15 to 20 bucks. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm just following the prototype. Uh, here, take these cars off here. And it's kind of a press fit. That's what I wanted it to do. So I can easily remove it. And I have a, I believe they're 3 sixteenths dowels. So here are the abutments. And all they are is uh, just pink styrofoam carved in the the abutment part of it is styrene plastic which I think it came out really good basically the bridge itself like I said is made of balsa wood um, just glued in layers that's how I was able to get it to hold its shape somewhat um, it wasn't really easy to get it to hold its shape um, but basically here's the gist of it here so I got those triangular looking pieces for the sides um, but I'm holding off on that because I do want to put street lights um, you know like the ones I normally use so I'm going to be putting a few of those on there and I'm going to hold off on that as far as putting the finishing touches on because I want to run the wires through this little crease that you can see there we can make that out but kind of an afterthought here um, I kind of thought about it and uh, I think I'm gonna dedicate one or two pillars because these are wooden dowels so I have to switch it over to uh, some styrene tubing so I can feed the uh, wires down of course but <clears throat> that's gonna be you know when all things are said and done and tracks painted and weathered and all that stuff so I can't be uh, undoing the wires all the time taking the bridge out and all that so if I get enough requests in the comments to uh, maybe demonstrate how I made this bridge I will go ahead and do that so I think it's it's really cool and it's very prototypical and it doesn't really cost that much 
you know, which is a great part of it. I do like the Rick's products, highly overpass stuff, but you know, if you're creative enough, you can make your own out of some, you know, cheap balsa wood. Balsa wood barely costs anything, so anyway, we'll move on. And uh, I might be showing you guys how I weather and stripe the bridge. Um, that being said, we'll move on to our situation we got over here, which is a bunch of plaster cloth and my attempt at a forming job for my plaster. Um, instead of stacking up all my tape, because it's about $10 a roll. So I figured why not add some leftover balsa wood and then I thought about it and I said well you know what you're going to be wasting a lot of plaster so I'll probably be putting some cardboard in here just to um, fill it up a little bit. Um, I'm just following the prototype. Um, it actually splits into six lanes out in the Mojave at this crossing for some odd reason I don't know why. Um, but for me it's only going to be split, splitting into four. You know, just for uh, space constraints. Um, so I got all my tape laid out, plaster cloth down, pretty much ready to pour. And I will be making a video, uh, not so much on how I pour, because that's pretty standard. Um, I know a lot of people know how to do that. But I will be making a video on how I paint and stripe and weather my roads so look out for that yeah and I still haven't fixed my gas station but anywho uh, let's move over to the yard here I finally completed it had a shell at a few dollars but it's just the way I wanted it. As you can see I have a uh, Stewart Products sanding tower here which I bought from Pfeiffer Hobby Supply. Thanks Mike for the fast shipping. I also have the uh, water <coughs> and uh, fuel stands and I bought a couple of storage oil storage tanks to go with it. I got my engine facility there. And oh, there's a throwback. My first logo. GP38. And Jeep 40-2-2. And yeah, your eyes did not deceive you. I did throw down and buy myself a nice brand new BNSF ES44 AC. And man, let me tell you, I love the paint job. Kato does a nice job. And of course my C44 9W repatch, which I do still plan on putting a decoder in. Holy smokes, I've been saying that like four times already, but anyway. Yeah, but things are looking good, making progress here. I'm pretty thrilled. And a couple other things I want to mention. I did make another purchase. I got an 89 foot flat car here by Atlas. Uh, it's a piggyback car and it didn't come with the dang hitches. So I don't know what the hell's up with that, but I paid almost $36 for it. Didn't come with the hitches, but whatever. And a couple other things here. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That's right, military train. I'm going to be starting to put together a military train. So I'll be building these models. And I'll make a video on that. And of course, I got one of my tank train cars sitting out here 
just for shits and giggles. But I do plan on weathering those to uh, replicate the oil cans that used to run through the loop. Now they're here on the uh, coast route. But yeah, that's about it. Just wanted to give you guys an update today. And uh, <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoy what I'm doing because I am. And uh, one more thing about my engine house here and my facility. I'll be putting lights inside and maybe one of those little uh, LED like welding arc kind of things that I've seen. Those are pretty cool. And then this whole area here, the majority of it is going to be all plastered. So it's going to be like a flat concrete surface. So that'll be uh, pretty interesting to do. And I do plan on like, you know, weathering, putting like stripes. Like this is going to be like the roadway crossing area here. So um, let's figure it out as I go. No real plan on it. Just what looks good, what looks prototypical. Try not to get too crazy with it. And I had these old bumpers, um, which are not too prototypical, I don't think, but I just had them, so I used them. Get my money's worth out of them. Figured it'd uh, be a good, uh, good match for the tracks that the diesels are going to run on. So I don't know. That's it. Alright guys, stay tuned to the next one, which is probably going to be my road video. Um, as far as layout updates, uh, stay tuned for those. It's going to be a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks, I'm not sure. But I do appreciate you guys tuning in. And make sure and subscribe, that way you don't miss nothing. Alright guys, I'll see you on the next one. Damn that's sexy.